So, hello, it's Mary, and in this video, it might be a short video, but in this video, I'm basically going to be doing a live update on my GoFundMe and on the house that I live in right now. So, today we got a message, text message from the landlord. He finally sold the house. The investors live in Jacksonville, Florida, I believe. So, they haven't messaged us yet. They haven't got a hold of us, so we don't know what's going on. With the GoFundMe, I'm still only got one person that donated to my GoFundMe. So if I don't meet the goal at my GoFundMe, I'm probably going to be homeless. Which is hard for me. The house that I live in right now, before what happened the day before Halloween I was fine I could be in the bedroom by myself I could take Mocha out at night by myself but since Halloween I've been scared to be in the bedroom by myself I'm scared when I go out in the living room and the lights are off. I'm scared when I go to the laundry room. Whenever I'm sitting here and it's dark outside, I always look in the bathroom because I feel like someone's watching me. I hate going outside because it feels like someone's watching me at night. So I'm always looking around to see who's around me, what's going on around me. And no one should be feeling like that. No one should have to watch their back in a place they live. So, at least I know I have until I have until December, not December, March, to come up with the money on my GoFundMe so I can have money for first, last, and security deposit. I can have the money for movers, moving supplies, which I should be buying now. Or any bills that I have or will have in the next place. So, if you can help with the GoFundMe, please do. I will link it in the bottom of this video. I have my wish list in... I have the actual link in my About section. I have the link to my GoFundMe, the link to my wish list. It's so hard not knowing. I am so down. I want to cry about this situation. 
because it's so hard. It's hard not knowing. It's hard not having income coming in. It's hard dealing with the fact that I know I can't work because of the fact that anything I eat, I know this is going to be TMI, but anything I eat basically turns into diarrhea. And it all started back in December, December 10th of last year. I'm almost been a year having this problem. I don't know what to do because I know no one will hire someone that has a bad back that can't barely stand for long periods of time. Someone that has bad knees that can't really lift anything. Putting up my Christmas decorations that I did, I had to sit every two to three minutes because it hurt so bad to stand. Where the tree is, we have the couch right next to it. So at least I had that in the bottom half of the Christmas tree on the, if you're facing it, it's on the left side or right side. If you've got your back towards, towards to it, it's the right side. I got to sit down and put the Christmas ornaments on it. The Christmas tree's in the bedroom. I didn't even decorate because of how my back is. Now that the weather is getting colder, I can barely get out of bed. I'm honest and I will be all the things I've been talking about on my videos are 100% true and honest. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Because of the fact that for me, I don't feel safe in the house any longer. I wish I had the money to move right now so I could get out of this place. I wish I. had the money to buy a house so I didn't have to be in this situation that I'm in I know you're probably not gonna watch the whole video and I understand it, but I'm still going to say, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on your notifications so you know whenever I post a new video.
how my depressed state, how I've been here lately. I really don't feel like doing anything. But I know I have to post these videos. So I can start earning money on here. So I can... actually be able to go live on my own it's hard struggling it's hard struggling with a major depression it's hard struggling with major anxiety One of the things I enjoy doing, I can't even do. Because there are so many cockroaches in the living room. In the kitchen, I mean. Because of one of the roommates. So I can't go out there and cook because there's roaches that come out. I can't just go out there and sit and watch TV because the person that sits in the living room all day will get mad. So I basically stay in my bedroom. Which they always tell you. Don't work. Watch TV eat in your bedroom or your bed because it causes you more depression eating watching tv working is not for a bedroom but i have to do it because of the situation and where i live I try my best to be happy, even when I'm sad. I try to deal with the situation that I'm in. But it's hard. I have to sell all the fish tanks. I have to because everywhere else if I had the money to buy a house I wouldn't have to but every apartment that I've looked at every house I've looked at says you can only have two pets mocha is a service dog but also he is a pet so he would count as one and the roommate the reason we have cockroaches is because of this roommate she has a cat So there's two. So I have to get rid of my fish tanks. And all this is hard because fish tanks helps with your blood pressure. They help you to relax. So whenever I'm down, something I've been doing 
and it don't help with my depression or anxiety but it's a new tick that I've started doing since I found out about the move other than because of depression eating that's a big thing I've started again I've been trying to lose weight but since I started getting my taste buds back and I've been getting really anxious about trying to figure out when the new lease will start if we have to move I started eating and this has been going on since a little bit before Halloween I kind of have my taste buds back, but I don't, and I still feel like I got something caught in my throat, and my voice keeps going in and out. But another thing I do is with this pillow, I take this stuffy, and I roll it, and I roll it until it turns into a just a little line and I notice watching when I'm watching YouTube or watching Netflix or something like that it's something I do because of the anxiety I really need to find another therapist but also I don't want to find another therapist because I don't know where we're going to move. And since October of last year, I've gone to, or the previous year, I've had about five to eight. I'll let you guys go now.